All right, I can't hide any longer. It's time to start the stream. Well, actually, we started a few minutes ago. Just been enjoying some uh, some wonderful rock music here in the background. Thank you for joining us tonight at Roleplaying Unlimited. I am your host, DM Punk, reminding you that even in the darkest of days, oh, this fire burns. Oh, God, always. All right, yeah, let's uh, ah, adjust that. What the hell? It's like it's... Whatever. 35 streams in a row. Oh, my goodness gracious. Thank you so much. We are happy you're here. We are returning with our Thursday table. Our uh, newest table. And uh, we've got a few new players here tonight as well. I think we're going to have three new players, uh, depending on how all this shakes out. So uh, a bit of logistics to tackle here at the start and throughout but otherwise we have an adventure in progress entitled the real ig Aureli. and we will see if events tonight yield any more light on the subject uh for the meantime let's make sure yep 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 adjust some volumes for our new players so they don't uh come in deafening when i jump in and let's say hello to everybody Yes, that's me. Good evening. Hello, everybody. How's it going? Scared me there. <laughs> I'm doing my better now. <laughs> <laughs> well, no shit. <laughs> Good to hear you there, buddy. How's uh, how's it going there, Mike? Oh, he said he was in chat waiting. Maybe he went AFK. Andrew, long time no see. We had you uh, sit in at the uh, Wednesday table last night. Hopefully tonight is a, uh, a little less traumatic. There will no, there will hopefully be no meteor swarms descending upon your position. There we go. Hello. Yo, Andros, what's going on? How you doing? I'm doing all right. Excellent. Getting used to push to talk. Oh yeah, for sure. It's uh, definitely a bit of an adjustment. Saves us all from any unintentional background stuff that tends to come through. Yep. And Kai Kai, how you doing today? Welcome back. Alive and well. Excellent, Smithers. And uh, we have another new player joining us for uh, first session here at Roleplaying Unlimited. Welcome, Sunny. How are you? Let's try that again. Can you hear me okay, guys? Mike! What's going on? <laughs> I was talking earlier and it wasn't responding, so I figured you, you couldn't hear me. Oh, yeah, maybe you uh, plane shifted over to the uh, ethereal for a moment. Nah, uh, he ended up he got trapped in Barovia for a second. Oh, damn, that's, much, that's considerably worse. At least in the ethereal, you can uh, just kind of still see what's going on. Could you imagine sure. having R.A. in uh, Barovia? That would be scary. True, true, true. But remember, vampire woman. Evan Ara is a uh, angel, pretty much, with a radiant sword. Yes, indeed. And uh, Dandaman is back with us again. Hello, hello. It's like we're still sorting out some uh, technical stuff here, but feel free to chime in uh, whenever things uh, settle hello, down for you. Uh, hello. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Howdy. How I'm you doing? I'm good. How are you guys? Good, good, good. Excited for Pumping another up. session here for show. Peppermint, that is all. <laughs> uh, what's going on with... Oh, now we got it. Okay. So, yeah, uh, Sam, welcome to the table. And uh, when you are ready to join in, just uh, let us know, either in text or jumping into the voice chat. And we will drop your character into the field of play. We have another uh, new member of the server who just joined in, and she's going to try to join in with the table tonight as well, but uh, probably a little bit late. So, uh, hopefully, we will be saying hello to a uh, another friend here shortly oh dm i have a quick question for you yeesh um with my new sword that i have i have a certain intolerance for fiends correct 
Uh, I do believe you are uh, especially equipped to deal with them. I don't know that it contained any uh, additional thing in that respect. Do you have the uh, the verbiage of the sword you just post up? I'm just reading through it right now. Um... Has a bit of fiendish charm, huh? <laughs> Yeah, I pretty much just copied the uh, Sword of Zario from the Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus module and then just kind of reflavored it for uh, our needs here. Excellent. Requires all uh, tune. Yeah. Right? It is nice to meet you all. I am Andraus, but feel free to call me Andy because Andraus sounds like a fucking D&D character name. There ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> hey, don't yuck my yum. Uh, it depends. What did we roll for your new personality traits? Because that would probably lend itself into that respect there, Mike. I cut right to the chase in every conversation. And I anger quickly when I witness cruelty or injustice. Okay. Um, ideals, honor, the way I conduct myself determines uh, my reward in the afterlife. Mm -hmm. and I am quick to judge others. I thought there was something that was mentioned about not liking fiends with the uh, sword's influence, but I'm not seeing it in what I've got written down, so... Holy Maybe light, I was incorrect on that. Radiance, sword communicates... Did I give you the uh, Truth Seer ability, the advantage on your Wisdom Insight checks? Um, yes, Truth Seer, while holding the sword, you gain advantage on all Wisdom Insight checks. Okay, that is the bottom of the mechanics for the sword. Scrolling back up, not seeing anything about intolerance so, so much as uh, attunement. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, not seeing anything about uh, really anything in that respect. Perfect. Just thought I would double yeah. check. An that. evil creature uh, that takes the radiant damage from your searing radiance does have an additional possibility of being blinded. But uh, otherwise, that seems to be about it. All Thankful right, for our uh, our current party lineup. <laughs> That's why I was wondering. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you asked that, I looked and it was like... <laughs> I wouldn't why? want to all of a sudden go ham on Callista or something. You know? <laughs> why? We are perfectly normal and reasonable people. That is yeah, correct. Yeah. Hey, looks Andy like... Uh, looks like uh, Nako, Nako, how do we uh, pronounce that there? Looks like you jumped into the voice chat there. Welcome to the table. Just got to set up your push to talk in the Discord settings there. It's kind of like walkie-talkie. Just push while you're talking. Release when you're done. In the Thursday Crew channel, I will tag you right here to ease that transition. Whoa, look at that. I just hit level 54 in the server. Oh, woo, woo, woo. Um, that link right there will get you to our Roll20 game. Once you're in there, I can get a character sheet ready for you, and then you can uh, start crafting. By the, the way, uh, by the way, uh, DM, I did have a question. I wrote it in the game chat, but I'll just say it here. Uh, real quick, you mind if I buy a bag of holding? I have just enough. I have no objections. If the map just suddenly went pitch black for you, it's because your uh, token is not yet on the board. But, uh, yeah, let's get back into the field of play here. We did uh, have a conversation with Dan about his character. As I recall, he wished to uh, quadruple the size of his character to make uh, navigation through dungeons even more impossible. So uh, I was happy to facilitate that for you. <laughs> and good, good luck to you, brother. <laughs> All of a sudden, uh, we hit from the back. Oh, <laughs> I, I mean... At what point is he the party steed? Like, where it's like the Oliphants in Lord of the Rings. Like, the whole party is just, like, riding on his back. Like, we got this! 
All right, you are now regular size. Uh, welcome to uh, the normal hallways here, and you can go join the rest of the party there to the southwest if you so choose. When last we left off in this section, we had found an illusory Spartan statue behind which was a secret door. Behind oh, yeah. that, yeah, was a treasure chest and a slimy rock that we have quickly identified to be a gray ooze, the monster responsible for the persistent psychic assault we have experienced. And I'm not sure if we rolled initiative at the end of last session. Does anybody recall? Did we track that, or do we still need to do that? I remember you said not to, that we were going to do it at the start. Now, I do have a question, though. That makes more sense. Go ahead. With the true sight, do I see the uses now for what they are? Um, I think you would. Let me check. I'm certain something of this level would not have a... Um... Actually, True Sight does not get through it because it's not an illusory appearance. What would have happened is you would have seen through the statue to the secret door. But while it is motionless, it is indistinguishable from an oily pool or wet rock. I forgot how we got past it last time. I think we might have done a nature check and somebody was like, oh, that's what that is. And then that's where we called it. But regardless of how we identified it, I'm certain that we have at least determine that this is a monster not just a slimy rock sitting in this room and thusly it is time to roll initiative and uh prepare for a tpk by the uh, lowliest of foes damn we're only having the uh zero bonus to initiative that's pretty good absolute and for our new players just uh bear with us here for a few moments as we uh have a five-on-one encounter against this monster. If you do want to see just what's going on in the uh, Community Standards channel that you emoji to is the link for our Roleplaying Unlimited channel. You can see all the action from my point of view on the live stream it's just about a 10 second delay so what you're hearing here uh basically just recommend mute the stream so you're not getting double volume uh oh yep looks like we've got some other people in the initiative here i'm not sure why don was added in there aha what are you doing here one two three four uh dan you roll an initiative you want to get in on this Oh, very cool. Joining us on video there. Love it. Very cool. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Unfortunately, I can only be on video on one or the other. If I try to do Twitch and Discord, it just gives me nothing. Oh, and you're here in there. So let's get a character sheet ready for you. All right, it is hey, at the very I top. A question? Hey, welcome. What you got? Um, so it is okay that on my roll twenty, I'm seeing a blank screen. That's correct, right? Just like a black screen, because I'm correct. not there yet. Correct. Correct. Yeah, okay. the dynamic lighting is enabled, so the characters only see what they would see. And if your character's not here, it's just like, uh, I'm in limbo right now. <laughs> okay. Cool. Just <laughs> wanted to make sure. I just opened the Twitch stream, so I'm watching there i just wanted to make sure that that was all okay exactly yeah the twitch stream will be uh, up to date at the current time and oh i'm gonna catch it in the first half hour as opposed to the last half hour this time and change the title of the game here why did the door close i think somebody was just that terrified oh we opened it I gotta get ready to schmuck it. Now, do I hammer time it, or do I hit it with the sword? That's my question. Well, Callista is uh, just at the top of the initiative here, a 23.2, and you are right there where the illusory statue used to be. And the monster is just uh, 
trying to maintain its disguise in front of you, but you're like, I see through your trickery. Blade sing as a bonus action, and then uh, gonna smack it with the rapier. Uh, actually, I'm gonna try and move into the room. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking that ooze was kind of in the middle of all four squares. It um, is, yeah. So, all right. So, gonna gonna rapier it. All right. We are squeezing, so it is a, a disadvantage on the attack. Seventeen. Seventeen is well. You beat my AC by almost ten. It's an ooze. It has an eight. <laughs> Wow. Nice peeny. Eight piercing. And end turn. Eight pierce. Magical weapon. Yes, we will take that. Awesome. We got a couple players on camera here. Very nice. I just got the freaking Twitch stream up and immediately I get an ad. Oh, of Let's course. Start with that. Uh, of course, yeah. They have my. Uh, they recommend I turn the ads up to maximum because even for the subscribers who can skip them, they still pay revenue to the uh, the creator. Uh, Kalista wrapped it up there. Yutsuki is up next here and uh, just outside the room. What you got? Sorry, uh, so the ooze is in this room or here, not this room? Correct. It's just to your southeast. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, with your position, yeah, you can just barely see the edge of its token right here. There you go. Okay, well then I'm going to move into position to... Well, I guess I'm blocking the doorway. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, so I'm going to move into position to, to attack it. Uh, and once I do, I am going to... Well, let me see what happens after I attack it. All right. Uh, if you're staying I... outside of the room, you do have uh, an angle of attack on it. And I was about to say you have flank as well. Uh, if you enter its space, you have disadvantage, but it's a moot point either way because you just rolled a pair of 16s, either of which will hit. And let's see what kind of damage we're talking about. All right, so you said I would have, I would have disadvantage because of where I moved in, right? Correct, yeah, because you're squeezing in the same space as the monster. But because it's bridging four spaces right there, you do have... Uh, an angle of attack to it from outside the room. Okay, so I uh, do five points of damage. Uh, I'm going to use my cunning action uh, as my bonus action to disengage and then move back out of the doorway into the previous room. Oof. Alrighty. And you will experience this uh, misfortune. Corroded metal, a non-magical weapon made of metal, begins to corrode after dealing damage, a permanent and cumulative minus one penalty to damage rolls. If it drops to minus five, the weapon is destroyed. Yuck. It has no resistance to that damage, though, so it will take all five. Your weapon just comes away uh, a little worse for wear. And uh, if I skip Mike's turn here, then I get to take a turn in this initiative. I like the sound of that. Let's go that way. Uh, go ahead, Mike. <laughs> All right. Avanara will whip out her new sword that she has. She will step forward, and she's going to attack. Do I have flanking with this? Oh, yeah. Okay. So she's going to take a swing with her new sword. Slice and dice. So an 18 to hit and for 18 10 damage. Hit. I don't know if it's vulnerable to Radiant or not, but three of it is Radiant. 
Gotcha. Neither vulnerable nor resistant, and 10 damage to a creature that had 9 hit points. So that's an end to that initiative, just as quickly as it began. And then Evanara will step in as well. The ooze just kind of liquefies and spills out onto the room. It'll leave a... It's like stepping in spilled soda for the next half hour. Your feet will just be sticking to the pavement here. But uh, otherwise, uh, good to go. And uh, Spilled for... soda. What a horrible fate. Right? <laughs> a soda column. Or a soda elemental. We had one of those once at Nero. Well, it was good to get rid of that. Now, I wonder whether or not this treasure we're searching for might be within this chest. Callista. You seem to be fairly talented with these things. Yeah, she she uh, returns her rapier and uh, nods, and uh, we'll go and uh, do an investigation on the chest. Awesome. Is Callista considered a uh, fiend, Woo! by the way? No. Okay, good. Because if she was, she'd be in pain because of my sword. <laughs> Yes, indeed. And uh, likewise for Sam there, it looks like your character sheet is updated to level 1. I just added the XP to your sheet to uh, get you to level 2. That red anvil pulsing next to your class level. Just click that, and the character mentor will open up for you again to get you up to level 2. Once you're done with that, we will get a illustration for your character if you're not already working on one. And then... Uh, drop you onto the table as well. But yes, for uh, Brill, whose character is complete and has been for a few days now, the debut is at hand as the character is beamed into the dungeon, similar uh, to uh, being beamed in like Star Trek. And as we have already uh, discussed as part of your... Uh, compensation for being part of the Tac X crew. You've uh, gained some extra coin, got some equipment, and you have been given the basic rundown of what our party is here for. They are seeking a rumor, whether it's a treasure, an item, a person, uh, a book, something that ties into this Sith Lord that is ravaging our galaxy and has proven a dire, dire threat. So as our group is investigating the treasure chest, a uh, stranger appears into the room behind us or next to us. The chest is indeed locked. It does not appear to be trapped, however. Does so you, you guys? Does you, you want to go ahead? And I can give you help yeah, and, and guidance, or or one or the yeah, other. Yeah, do you need me to? Do you need me to try and open the chest? I can do that. Um, I'll cast guidance on him before he tries to open the chest. And Callista will uh, do help action. Excellent. Um, but let's clear the room just in case. Uh, you watched the stream where the chest had the uh, the ball bearing golem inside of it, huh? Just open the chest. It's nothing but ball bearings. Oh crap! It's assembling and attacking. But well, Callista's got to be in the room to help. Yes. Luckily, I don't. Okay. okay. That, well, it, we can clear clear out as as many as possible, uh, just for safety sake, whatever. Close the uh, door so just in case. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. I want the door open in case I need a run. No, we'll close the door but, and uh, enlarge the zebra back to large size to uh, block your escape. There you go. All right, so <laughs> He's running away. I want no part of this. Uh, Ignore what that, is please. That? Oh, okay. Like, wow, what is that? Ooh, net 20, baby. Woo. So I hear a click and no boom. Click, click, no boom. Phew. Well, let's have some fun. 
Brill's just gonna outright say since he was just being there. Wow, you're very good with your hands. <laughs> How would he know? The door was closed. <laughs> And, uh, let's see here. Tay, do you have your, uh, access to your character sheet there in the journal on the right side of the virtual tabletop? If you click that book icon, it should be the very first character sheet there. Uh, click that and then use the character mancer, and that will help you, uh, on the process of crafting your character. So what we have here in the chest is a random treasure hoard. And we're going to roll the results of that right now. That's better than a failure to communicate. <laughs> Still Are you going to roll then, or do one of us go? I like to uh, divvy it out randomly amongst the party. I don't like to be responsible for bad uh, treasure rolls. I like you guys pointing the fingers inward for those kinds of things. <laughs> All right. Uh, da, 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 da. <clears throat> Andrew, you unlocked it. You got the first roll. Percentile, please. Ho, 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 ho. Nice roll. Damn. Okay. Up next, let's have uh, Jason roll me two die four, please. Nice. And last but not least, uh, Kai, if you would roll one die four, please. Alrighty. So we have coinage. Oh, we got to roll more for the coinage, too. Mike, give me a two die six, please. And then, Dan, if you would, please, a uh, additional two die six. And Andy, your first roll here at the table. How about uh, six die six? <laughs> and then for uh, Sam, if you would please, how about uh, three die six? Me? Yes, indeed. If you're unfamiliar with how to roll in the chat log, it is, uh, I will copy it over for you here. Forward slash R space, whatever the dice combination is. So first and foremost, the treasure chest itself is a magical item. It is effectively a treasure chest of holding. Nice. More akin to a portable hold, though, with the uh, space that it can contain within. Uh, only difference, of course, you don't have to uh, unfold it, nor can you fold it up to the size of a, a handkerchief or smaller. So somebody's got to tote this thing around. If you want to carry it with you, it can be a, a bit of a burden, but uh, it's pretty useful. We had one of those on our Tuesday night table, and our barbarian toted that around for a good number of weeks, and now it's his trunk at the foot of his bed on the, uh, the Star Destroyer that we all call home. How heavy is it? It is a solid 50 pounds. 
Evan Ara could easily pop that up. Excellent. Yeah, it's more bulky than anything. Like, if your character is particularly strong, the weight isn't an issue so much. It's just, it, it's just kind of awkward to carry around. I do have a bag of holding. Sweet. I don't think you want to put a chest of holding in a bag of holding. That usually ends badly. Do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, good point. <laughs> yeah, let's not have reality break. I just got here. <laughs> All right, well, uh, in that case, I will uh, lean the dice towards the deck of many things for our treasure chest for our magic item results here. Okay, so uh, for our treasure, we are starting off with a fair amount of coin here. 900. Oh, nope, I'm sorry, 90. 900 would be much better, but 90 is still respectable. Platinum coins. For right. each or all together. Uh, that is all together inside of the chest. So that would be divided by 8. Additionally, there is 2,800 gold pieces in there. Okay, so the 90 platinum pieces would be 11 platinum each and... 6,000 silver. That would leave 10 left over. 500 coppers. Sorry, two left over. And for Fox's roll, we have a six. So we have obtained six objects of art. 250 oh. gold pieces each. Those can take the form of Whatever your character may find appealing, if you want a goblet, a piece of jewelry or something, or if you just want to liquefy it at the end of the day, that's why it's kind of left nondescript. If I do put a description to objects of art, it's either because I had plenty of preparation time or it means something. <laughs> now for the magic items... We got two of them. And, uh, Nako, if you wouldn't mind, would you roll us a percentile there in the chat while you're working on your character? Not, not too shabby. And all the way back to the beginning. Andrew, you opened it. You got us off on this hot streak. One more percentile to see what the second magic item is. All right, drum roll. Hmm. Is there eight characters in the group right now? There sure are. Well, there's six uh, characters in the group right now with two incoming. Okay, because I've been dividing the gold and everything else by eight because I thought that's how many were in all. Sure. Together. Yeah, as they are imminently inbound, I don't know how you all want to handle that. Of course, we will encounter more treasure, but this is a, a, a nice start off as well. Oh, okay. I thought this was a cursed item, so it's not going to be a reroll. Okay, so the six that are the six that are the six of us that are in right now will get the art. That works, yeah. Um, alphabetically, I'll, I'll add that to my character. Yeah. Hey, uh, so Nako, do you have one access one. to your character sheet? Just want to make sure uh, everything's coming through good on your side there. If you're trying to talk, we don't hear you. I don't know if your uh, push to talk is set up just yet.
No worries though, uh, go ahead and interject at any time via text or uh, interrupt in the voice chat when uh, you get things uh, set up there. No voice, but her costuming is really cool. Absolutely, I love it. Oh, and bringing on the Shaka, yes indeed. <laughs> Did Maybe you just if say I... the first magic item was a shotgun? That's awesome. <laughs> I wonder if if I do this, does it bring it up for you to be able to access? Is I'm there... seeing T. Correct. And as she has access to the sheet, hopefully she can just click that character mancer button. All right. So we're good to go on that. She can get going on the uh, the character process. Once you finish up level one, just enter 300 in the uh, experience point block and then click that red anvil again to go up to level two and then you will be good to go. So for magic items, we rolled a two and that means that this one will, that's just unfair. I'm gonna re-roll that. I don't think the guy that just got an artifact weapon is gonna be needing a, a magical weapon at this point. <laughs> Two, three, four, well, Lilith. Know, it's a good deal, Will. Right. Lilith's character, however, is... Do, 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 do. Would you say your sickle is your uh, primary weapon that you will use for uh, melee purposes? Yes. All right, then let's upgrade that baby. Give her a scythe. I would much prefer a scythe. We can do that. Sure you'll make the cut? <laughs> Is it listed under something else, or did I... I'm pretty sure I spelled it right. Yes, -E I did. S-E-Y-T-H-E? Yes, I did. It is not located in the uh, compendium. I guess it's not an actual weapon in D and D. Maybe it's a. Uh, maybe the sickle is the scythe. And for their silly transition. Well, I just checked on Five E Tools and it didn't even show up there. Interesting. Well, what the deuce? I will say I have looked. Gotcha. Well, in the meantime, let's at least get a plus two sickle in your character's possession. There is one of those found in the treasure chest. Uh, it is a weapon that she happens to be using. I don't know if anybody else is happenstance. But uh, that is what was rolled. The second item is an arrow catching shield pretty handy Ooh, arrow catching shield well, is that listed as a hyphenated something or other arrow catching yes it is all right it is a rare magic item adds a plus four bonus to somebody's ac if you got the free hand and the shield proficiency Ooh, ooh, ooh. Plus two that bonus. Would be awesome, awesome for Rivenera. Addition: Whenever somebody makes a ranged attack against target within five feet, you can use your reaction to become the target of the attack instead. Does anyone else use shields? I do, but mine is already a plus one shield. But this would be an upgrade then. <laughs> it would also wrong. be an upgrade for Rivenera. What kind of shield do you <laughs> have, Evanar? Just, just holding the shield in his mouth. A shield. That's all I have. <laughs> I already have a plus one shield. You take it, Evanar. Marcus has a shield as well, he said. No, he was joking about putting the shield in his mouth. Oh, I gotcha. No, you just gotta strap it onto like the side of his head and he just kinda like turns one way. <laughs> well, if everyone else is okay with it, I mean, Evanara would be okay with the arrow-catching shield because that would be very handy 
oh, uh, yeah. with her. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be able to use it at all. So go ahead. I'd be like, yeah. If it help, if if in the future it'll de uh, 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 deflect uh, attacks from me, then hell, someone else use it for by all. <laughs> All right, it's been added to my list. Excellent. Also extra handy that it does not require attunement. No, it says right here that does require attunement. Oh, oh if there, it requires sure attunement, does. it won't be any good for me then. Sure does. I didn't even see it right there, but yes, it does. Oh. Huh. Well, uh, if you want, my shield is a, is a plus one meh physical shield. You can take it, and I can take the arrow catching. That would work for me. I like the teamwork, the spirit of giving. Callista definitely approves of this. She's smiling at the two of them. <laughs> hey, you watch my back, I'll watch yours. And some of your characters have already experienced this live, so... It's a uh, it's a little less impactful when it happens as a uh, a reflection or whatever this is. It's a stab into your psyche, is how I have best described it. Anytime this guy's presence is near, you just feel this looming presence and a sensation of your ultimate demise. Whenever Nihilus is near. And perhaps he is also drawn to the rumor of what this planet's secrets hold. Ugh. Gish, gish. Ah, what is, is that? I forgot that I had set this up for uh, this channel here, but if you ever wish to do any uh, text play or have your text play stand out, exclamation, lowercase c-e-m, space, whatever you want to text, the color you have chosen for your avatar will be the backdrop for the uh, text, and it just makes it pop a little nicer. I just noticed that I actually did already have a plus one shield. I didn't realize that. <laughs> Anyone else use a shield? <laughs> this guy's just stuck to the max. Well, if nothing else, it's uh, liquidatable goods, or perhaps one of our uh, two incoming characters will be uh, proficient in shield use. This is true. Well, for now, I'll stuff it into my uh, chest of holding. Awesome. <laughs> Sam, am I seeing this correct? Your uh, character is complete? Um, I think so. <laughs> I would be inclined to agree. Let's, uh... Hooray. Let's get a character token set up for you here real quick, and then we will drop you into the field of play. I'm going to step away back to our home screen for a moment to set that up. All the rest of you can just chill here in the dungeon. Uh, 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 uh. You're welcome. Oh, I don't know how well this is going to work. I might have to move you all back here for a moment. We'll see. Yep, no good. Okay. You're coming so, with me, man. Just so you guys know, Evanara's sword, she's got it glowing out to a 15-foot radius of bright and 15-foot radius of dim light, in case anyone needs that. Sam, do either of these appeal to you? Um, for now, I'm like working on making one, but for now I can be either. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, if you're designing your own, we can certainly, uh, 
I mean, you can import that onto your character sheet yourself, and then I can just drop it onto the table. But for now, for uh, expedition, we'll just get you on to this one here. And yeah, that Sword of Reyna, the Blade of Reyna, is uh, without a doubt the most magnificent blade any of you have ever seen. It's shiny. <laughs> Brill's going to say, whoa, who did you kill to get your hands on something like that? I killed no one. The sword chose me. As she says that, her wings would ruffle a little bit. Very fascinating. Where did you choose you, if I may ask? Choo choo choose me? On the ship. So, a uh, sort of seemingly strange and, and very mystical power somehow appeared to you on the ship and chose you? No. It belonged to somebody else. Apparently they had passed on, and one of the individuals that was part of their party had made a call for anyone who was willing to put their life forward for such a, a cause to select the sword, and the sword chose between three of us, and it chose me. Hmm. Very interesting. Whoop! Another! Here comes a new challenger! Do -do 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 -do. Welcome to the table, Sam. Hello, hello. You should be able to see now. I do, thank you. Yes, indeed. And uh, I will be adding some coin to your character here. Brief rundown of where we are. This group of characters all belongs to the same special forces branch of the galactic military known as tactical extreme tac x for short all of our characters have been recruited and paid a uh, a nice signing bonus that is the coin i will add to your character sheet and the current mission as i was uh telling Andy there when he dropped in is somewhere on this planet we are actually in the ru the uh, ruins of a sewer that are beneath an old city that likewise is just in shambles somewhere in these sewers is apparently something attached to this presence here who is the end game bad guy for all eight of the tables that I am running here at Roleplaying Unlimited so uh he appears a lot at our different tables, but there is something connected to him here on this planet that will hopefully be of benefit to those of us who hope to see his presence eradicated. Okay, cool. So your character is here. You can see the uh, party of adventurers before you. We will go through uh, some character descriptions here shortly as we have a number of new characters joining us who are probably like, who are all these people? And likewise, uh, it may not be obvious just on a, uh, a picture description just who we're looking at. We do still have one more to drop in later. And since she's already here, she can benefit likewise from these descriptions. Let us begin with Kalista, a character introduction, if you would, please. Yeah, so Kalista is a winged tiefling. Uh, that's what she looks like. Um, she uh, is wearing uh, leather armor. Uh, she's normally got a shield strapped to her back. She, it's actually strapped to her arm now. Um, and you see a crossbow and a rapier uh, on her as well. Excellent. Up next, let's hear from Lilith, please. Lilith is 
a druid tiefling. Sorry, she's a little different because she's got her colorings and normal tieflings. Um, she's very in tune with nature and animals and fire and such and such and such. And that's all I got now. All right. And Yutsuki. Um, you think he's the dark-skinned, elf-looking character, uh, like, uh, uh, almost silvery, white hair, uh, dressed in just kind of simple leather armor, um, and standard weapons that don't really stand out. Uh, kind of plain-looking, and kind of just keeps to himself a bit. Alrighty. Learning a bit more about this crew every session as we're uh, getting a more solid table put together here. Marcus, tell us a bit about this beauty. Uh, yes, I am Marcus Zebra. I I am a I am a majestic looking uh, black uh, unicorn. His his skin is. Is, is really dark it's 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 the color of night and his hair is the hair on top of his head is uh, crimson red Sh is shine he's wearing uh chain mail chain mail horse armor and he's just uh he's just chilling in the corner right now enjoying his newfound freedom in the dungeon no doubt he was a, a little <laughs> he was the size of a normal unicorn last session and in these uh five by five foot wide corridors it was a, a little tricky navigating <laughs> oh yeah he's shrunk he's shrunk yeah he's shrunk. yeah <laughs> so we have up next evanara all right so evanara Looks pretty much like her picture, except there has been a few changes since she's picked up the sword. She has now uh, glowing silver pools for eyes, and she has a pair of angelic wings that come out of her back. She is wielding the Sword of Rena, which is glowing with a divine light, which fiends seem to find very painful. Um, <laughs> she's wearing scale mail, has an ornate shield that actually has her god's uh symbol which at this point she has the morning lord symbol on the shield itself um and she stands about 511 and 165 pounds excellent and a also short... since she's had the wings she's uh been hovering basically a few inches off the ground as she goes gotcha fleeting footsteps floating footsteps this guy just arrived a short while ago, and uh, let's hear a bit more about him, if you would, please. What do you say, Andy? Did he AFK? There we go. Can you guys hear me now? <laughs> Fantastic. Can you hear me? Yes, indeed. Yeah, sorry about that. My mic must have fucked up again. No worries. <clears throat> Brill is about four. Is about four feet. He's a short ass. Ass. I made him that way. Okay. <laughs> he is wearing weave armor, so pretty high end gear. Here, he has a shield which he just received as a gracious welcoming gift, and a blaster pistol on his side. Hide, <clears throat> as well as numerous pockets. Pockets. He has markings over the over over on his armor, written in Twi'leki, Eki, and he basically he's typically pale, but you can definitely see like the glow from somewhere that's warm, like a lot of heat. So yeah, he's more so just looks pretty standard, except for the fact that he's short. Very cool. And up next, we have our newest arrival to the table, named Fenelor. Tell us a bit about yourself, if you would, Sam. Even if it's just the visual, what they see, as you're still learning who the character is. 
Um, could you actually tell me how to pull up my character sheet on Rule 20? Oh, sure. Uh, if you go back to the journal on the right side of the uh, page there, it's in the Thursday tab. That's where you will find all of the uh, characters for this party, including yours. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, so Fenelore is in a Ladrin Druid. Um, I've never played a Druid before. I'm actually really excited about it. Awesome. Um, she is like 250 years old. She's not that tall. Um, what? Well... <laughs> <laughs> um. Aladrin have this cool thing where they have an association with a season, like winter, spring, summer, fall. Oh. Um, I haven't decided yet exactly which season my character will be associated with. It can change. Um, okay. But you get, like, different powers, <laughs> like, based on which one you choose. So I'm still, like, looking into that. Cool. Um, but she has like golden brown skin she's yeah she looks kind of like the picture actually of the eladrin that is in the thing i'm still working on her though okay sounds good and it looks like uh our newest character is like 90 percent of the way there so uh we'll have our final character drop into the table here shortly Otherwise, this uh, appears to be the end of this level of the dungeon. We have killed all of the foes that were in here. Those nasty roachling creatures. There were plenty of them that uh, didn't really ambush you. They knew you were here. You knew they were there. They had these things trapped in cages that came out and bit a few characters. And uh, otherwise, we did some exploration. Some of our characters were getting assailed by a psychic damage attack coming from nowhere. We seem to have discovered the source of that with killing the Grey Ooze. This passage right over here, just to the northeast of your current position, will lead you to the next level of the dungeon. When you are ready. Thank you for the follow there, Alan Archery. Are you with us? And just a reminder, it is a good 10, 15 foot drop down into the sewer channel itself. If your characters uh, do choose to travel that path. Alternatively, there is another path across the way that will lead you to the same area. And of course, if you can fly, then what does 15 feet matter? I wonder what's up this way. She's going to do a quick fly up and just check. Oh, that just brings us back. Okay, perfect. Right. That just brings us back to the place we were at before. Oh, looks like Lilith got separated there accidentally. Get you back over here with the group. <laughs> wow, how is she doing this? Walking through the walls, man. Magic. I don't know how she did it. She's not here, man. This is some powerful stuff, bro. Hello, everyone. Hey, how's it going? Welcome. Real, are you jumping into the pit? <laughs> you said the uh, next level's to the left? Uh, to the right. Move to the right. Crisscross. Everybody clap your hands. See, I was thinking, it's just a step to the left. <laughs> right. It could go either way. Yeah, sometimes I'll, I'll jump into the time warp. 
not the uh, the biggest Rocky Horror uh, fan, but I uh, I have pleasant memories of that song from uh, high school. <laughs> All right, is this uh, our marching order as we wish to establish it? And unless uh, Fenelor can fly, we may want to uh, step on the uh, the ledge right over here across the way. Unless you want to walk through the uh, the nasty muck down there. Oh, I understand. There it goes. I understand how to do this. Hey, welcome. How are you? <laughs> Yay, we found the talk button. Yay. And uh, let me check your character another time here. If you are set, then... I believe so. Oh, looks like it's on the final step here. Apply changes, building character. Da -da 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 -da. Um, that's weird. Did I miss a step? Uh, you may not have. It might just be a roll 20 glitch. Edit, sheet. I have a quick question. Uh-huh. How do I get rid of everyone's picture blocking oh. my... <laughs> yes. Good question. Forgot to bring that up. My apologies. Uh, on the same side of the table as your journal, off the off to the far right, click that gear, and then scroll down to audio and video, and then tab the video display and change the avatar window to names only, and it gives you about 90% more of your screen there. Thank you so much. <laughs> My pleasure. I have a cheat sheet uh built for that somewhere here there it is these are uh, something i built over a year ago for players who are new to roll 20 just uh some handy little shortcuts you can familiarize yourself with <laughs> ball what the ball <laughs> All right, my name is Kid. Let's scoot over to the next map and uh, hope that everything is set correctly. It's pitch black. Well, that's good. That's how it should be. Because I haven't put your characters in yet. How about... Pitch black. Good movie. Yeah, right about now. The funk soul, brother. Check it out now. So now we have the next level. The passage continues as we were going down the last path. Up ahead, we have some very large rats who are not very pleased with your arrival in their section of the dungeon. And further up ahead, all the way down at the end of the passage, some of you are able to make out this dude. And he likewise uh, seems rather perturbed at the sudden intrusion into his domain. So click your token on the board, please. And then click the initiative button on your character sheet. And then checking over Arenia's sheet here. I, see, I don't know what happened here. It looked like you were at level 2 and now it's showing you at level 1. Is it also showing that on your side? Let me see. Do we need the initiative tracker open for our stuff to pop up already? No, when I pop it up, it should all populate. Okay. Woo! Nat 20! So it's at level one again for me. Very weird. I don't know what happened. Sometimes uh, the uh, level up process can be a little weird. Uh, just go ahead and uh, knock that out again real quick. Hopefully it just takes a couple minutes. But I'm going to drop your token onto the board right now. And we will handle a uh, final character introduction and get you into the initiative here. 
because this is a combat that might take us a while. And while we're at it, if you wouldn't mind telling us a, a bit about who our newest arrival is, please. Excellent. Yes. So, um, I am Arenya. I am a an Aladrin, um sorcerer. I haven't played a sorcerer in a long time, so I figured now is the best time. Um, I rely on the wilds, I believe. That's what my, that's what my persuasion is. Um, and I'm mainly a researcher. I'm usually cooped up in a library. Um, but right now I'm out in the wilds because they said I needed to get some more experience with the real world. So I'm, I'm even though I'm buried in my books, I don't have a lot of experience in the real world. So we'll see how that plays out. We balance out nightly with nicely with Brill. Brill is a very experienced scavenger. Not good in school. <laughs> All right, turn order tracker is populating. Your uh, character token is on the map there for Arenya, so go ahead, click that, and roll your initiative. Once uh, the character mancer process is complete, if you're in that right now, it won't let you do it, so no rush. And let's just organize that. And I got some monsters to roll for. What do we got? It's been a while. Where are you? <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. Scooby Dooby Doo, where Scooby -Doo. are you? Dooby Dooby Doo. Okay, we have you. Okay, set. I have another quick question. Uh huh. Thirty-seven. How do I get rid of the thing that says Boon Runes? <laughs> on my screen boon runes or at least move it it's in my way is it a deck of cards off to the right no i believe there's a little crystal, above the, little crystal above the icons yeah, yeah click the crystal above your icon to open it and close Oh, like maybe she accidentally clicked on somebody else's uh, card. Possibly, yeah. I see, yeah. Yes, and I think I'm accidentally stealing it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it won't let you steal it unless they accept it. Exactly. It's the okay, most cool. polite That's... steal that you can offer. Can I please steal this from you? <laughs> it's not even asking to borrow. Like, you're asking to steal. <laughs> yeah, anytime you click on the card, just click the card again on the uh, the bottom where you open it up, and it'll go away. Thank All you. Right. Absolutely. So rats. I can't figure out how to drag my token onto the board. Oh, I've already got you on the board. You should be Excellent. over right over here. Sweet. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Figured we wouldn't put the sorcerer up front for the first combat. That could suck. I you appreciate know, guys, that. I'm not sure <laughs> about you, but and Brill's just going to point with that uh, with that blaster. I think they're trying to kill us. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a rat set to charge in your direction. It's already uh, in mid-stride, depending on its initiative roll. We'll see just how far it gets. Alright, now I have character sheets ready. Let's get initiatives. Oh damn, natural 20! That's used to that. I'm used to going. Initiative roll so far. Yeah, I'm used to going last in the initiative like that. That's what I'm used to. Oh shit! Wait a minute. That's not right. Okay, good. It populated correctly at least. It's the rat's initiative, not the exvart. Oh, uh, he exvarted. He exvart. Uh, I got some other dudes uh, off camera who are going to be aware of the happenings here. That makes sense. Four on your initiative. 
And one more variety of foe hiding somewhere. Damn! All right. Maybe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And diseased giant rat. Yeah. When we're thinking giant, how giant is the rat? They're that like the medium size to me. Yeah, like the size of a dwarf. <laughs> I wish be. I had uh, um, an audio clip that I could do for that one kid who goes, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, my character sheets are in the way here, so let's get that. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, let's uh, let's take our break a little early tonight. Let's get the, uh, the ten minute out of the way and then get this combat uh, unabated after that point so uh grab another drink stretch your legs grab a smoke whatever you got to do we will see you in 10 minutes or so friends are you with us yeah i'm with you yes, yes, got it thank you see you soon okay
I have returned. Hello. Hello. My wife is awesome. She made homemade uh, sourdough cheddar bread and homemade strawberry jam. And I am munching on some of that right now. Yum, 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 yum. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. The other day she made me some homemade butterscotch sourdough bread. Very nice. I have banana bread, so I'm not super fancy. She does banana bread too. She does a lot of different things. Does she uh, play D&D? No, nope. she thinks I'm a dork. <laughs> no! And I mean, she isn't wrong. I am a dork. I was going to say, my husband and I don't think we're dorks. We know we're dorks. Exactly. I always tell people I'm a geek, I'm a dork, I'm a nerd, and I'm a jock because I played semi-pro football. I play D&D. I build computers. I have fun. I'm right there with you. I was a triathlete, but I'm absolutely a nerd and dork. All right, I am back. So where's Beethoven? Dead! Murdered by his own friend! How are you doing, Chags? I am doing well. So, Andreas, um, since the other Wednesday game... Yeah, folded. Does that mean you want to start going to weekly games for hours? Wait, what do you mean? Well, I'm not sure if you saw the message yesterday, but our game that we play on Wednesdays, right? Um, the one that's on the opposite to, uh, Wednesday to ours? Apparently folded, someone said. That's why we were asking if we were able to play last night. Um, as far as that, I am not sure yet, because at that point, I I do need days to uh, set up and get stuff done. I can do it weekly. I would I would surely like to do it weekly, but I don't know when Gigi is going to start her game, game her new game anyway. And second, um, I'm more so, it would more so just be an adjustment, and I need to know if everyone would be okay with that first. I don't want to, you know, exclude everyone else if they can't do that. Plus, people do need a break. It's all good. I just thought I would give a quick question to you about that. Find out whether or not we were planning that or not. I think Tim Weekly would be quite fun. You adore Tim. Tim is an awesome character. I love playing Tim. I'm glad I gave you a chance to play the character that you wanted to play. All right. I think we are ready to proceed here. I'm going to jump off uh, camera here for a bit while I 
multitask some dinner here at the same time. So uh, we'll see you back shortly on that front. Otherwise, uh, I think we are good to go on initiative. Let's get ready to rumble! Uh, just for the purposes of uh, roleplay, you all already know that my guy is a force wielder. He isn't showing any of that yet for obvious reasons. His cross guard's hidden behind his shield. Okie dokie. So there are eight of you, and there are one, two, three, four variety of me. Looks like, yeah, I think uh, we need to get Varenia into the mix. A six, a mighty six. Yikes. Well, I, I wasn't, I wasn't sure how to get the initiative roll to display properly, so I was kind of fiddling around. Oh, no worries. But, uh, I think my initial... Hang on. It's like... I do see your original roll is a 14. Oh, good. Okay. Yes, 14. No worries. I was going to say, plus side, at least you go before most of the bad guys, but 14 is still better. That does bring up the question, what's your dex mod? It's a good question. It's I'm trying to toggle all. I don't have both my screens up, so I'm trying to toggle all this on one screen. I would assume you go before Evanara does because she's only got a dex of ten. Renya has uh, a 12, it looks like. So, yeah, just a 12, slight, yeah. slight edge there. All right. In any case, uh, so Kalista, you are up first here. Whoa, Zebra got a new character. What is this? Wow. Well, wow. That's the upgraded with the helmet. That's just, that's just character art, uh, I guess. Nice. All right. Uh, object interaction. Can you remind me if I basically put away the shield and draw the crossbow? That's okay, right? Or no? You can freely draw or stow one item a turn. Anything beyond that is go will take an uh, an action to do. Okay. Yeah. So she's going to. Uh, let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um, yeah, she's going to stow the shield and draw the crossbow. Uh, so that's the action. And then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It's going to fly over here. Um, and uh, end the turn. All right, up next is Andrew's turn. All right, I am going to draw my short bow, uh, but I know where my talents lie. Uh, I'm going to hold my turn. I'm gonna, okay, I'm going to attack the rat, but I'm going to hold my turn and... I'm going to wait until someone is within melee range of the rat, then shoot it. So that'll be... So I'm not moving. I'm just taking aim and waiting for an opportune moment. Okay. Put a little clock timer whole... on your yeah, token the there. Sounds good. Uh, looks like it's my turn then with the uh, natural 20 I got. So 
one of them comes out of the passage up ahead. And he's got a sling in hand. 10, 20, looks like Kalista is just on the edge of his normal range, so he's gonna try and attack. Damn! A 21 to strike for four bludgeoning. I'm uh, going to shield. All right. Uh, so he's up to 25. Yeah, he seems uh, to have uh, prematurely celebrated there as he doesn't catch the shield so much as the unerring accuracy, and he's cackling evilly as he goes running in the other direction, thinking that he clipped you right between the eyes. She kind of looks at him incredulously <laughs> and then looks back at her party like, is he for real? And then looks back at him again. Oh boy, and then here comes another one around the corner. And you are floating, uh, what does that say, 15 feet? Is it 15 feet above this ledge or 15 feet above the uh, the sewer? Supposedly 15 feet uh, above the ledge since she's over there, but... Gotcha. Um... Yeah, he looks up at you and looks at his short sword and his sling and draws the sling and takes an attack and yeah that'll just uh, fall a little short and that is the end of his movement um, Andrew does that trigger your ready to action as this guy uh, got into melee with somebody well if I was aiming at the rat could I switch my target If I was aiming at the rat already, would I be able to switch my target to the other guy then? I'm okay with that. Okay, then I'll go ahead and uh, take a shot at him. Yeah, he came out of the same general area. Like, if he came out, came from the west or something, probably not, but yeah. Go ahead and take a shot at uh, this dude right here. Well, that sucks. That's a natural one. Evan R feels that arrow. Uh, I'm trying to see. If, I'm trying to see if I if I have a bandage on him. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, by standard. Looking at it, I don't see that you do, but you may have an ability. Yeah, to no, that. I don't think. That, yeah, I don't think it would. Okay, gotcha. So I, I, I pivoted too quickly, throwing my aim off, <laughs> and just takes one over the. Uh... Yeah, and your quick adjustment to thread the needle between Evanara and uh, Brill there, both of them <laughs> feel that arrow come a little too close for comfort. <laughs> And up next, I got one more. The only one that you all saw to begin with. He's going to scoot all the way up to here. And yeah, I guess at this point, uh, it's at disadvantage either way because of the range. So he's just going to try his luck at Brill straight up ahead and not risk hitting his buddy right up there next to Kalista. And it is a mighty six. Nope. So that's stone. I'm sorry, was that an attack? You think maybe it might have been, but it lands like over here. So maybe it was like a weird display of talent? <laughs> Either way, it's your turn. Is the zebra uh, in the trench? Uh... No, I, I think I'm balancing on the side. I'm, a, I'm the edge. Uh, I, I, I was like initiative like uh, 21. I don't know if it took me off. And you changed your token. That's why. One second. Uh, back it up there just a uh, second. Brill. Marcus is actually first, and then yeah, right after that would be your turn. 
But yeah, in that space, you are technically in the trench because it's a very steep wall right down to it. So you'd have to be here to not be in the trench. Oh, I don't know if if, if, if if me walking through people will just bump them off of them. Uh, it won't push them off, but it does count as difficult terrain, so it's effectively 25 feet of movement just to get right here. But that's the case for any medium-sized creature. It's got nothing to do with uh, any size... If you're playing like a pixie or uh, something, then yeah, you could avoid that. <laughs> okay. Sorry. There's some of your movement. What else are you thinking? I'll just jump into the trench and then and then try to like move past because I don't want to like uh, have everybody just try to like go behind me or something. Yeah. I'll just go. All right, hopefully you got some ranged options because <laughs> there's nobody down there with you in melee. Or maybe some of your party members can shove some people down there if you need it. <laughs> so some movement and then uh, what else? Um, that's it. All right, so over to Brill following that. Brill's going to move up here, as I was intending to do before, to give him a bit more movement. And seeing Callista dealing with that blue person, Brill is going to pull, pull his blaster, which is a Glee, Glee 40, and shoot. I hear disdain in your voice as referencing to me because I'm very handsome. Good lord. Well, at least you rolled good for the magic item uh, coinage earlier. <laughs> the treasure coinage. <laughs> Definitely too handsome to shoot. <laughs> the handsome boy. Trained by stormtroopers. <laughs> He's going to roll a persuasion check. Don't shoot me. <laughs> so move, attack, anything else there? One second. Did you just throw sand at him? Oh, that was Sam who posted that. I was like, what is this? I didn't mean to do that. I didn't no mean worries. To do that. <laughs> it was very it was very fitting because it's a bonus action. So I thought Andy was doing it. I was like, that's all he has left. <laughs> I love it. That the anti-Anakin spell. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
I can't do anything just yet. So yeah, that'll I be it. I will spit out my drink. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Evanara's turn. So she's going to yell out in Celestial, "May the gods protect you!" And she's going to charge over to here. Oh boy. She's going to swing at this one with her uh, sword. All right. Does a 13 Sweet hit? Because I don't think I have flanking on this, do I? You don't because Kalista is flying, but otherwise this would be one of our role-playing unlimited house rules. I use what I refer to as the loose flank, where effectively as long as you're on one side opposite from your opponent than the other, it will almost always be a flank, except things like this. This will never be a flank, for example, but this almost always will be. But because of the height difference here, that does not count. A 13 is my AC exactly, though. All right, so that would be 13 damage, eight of which is radiant. Um, all right, well, he's got seven hit points total, so he's going to try to bargain. Um, can we... Like, reconsider? Less damage, maybe? <laughs> Alright. I guess I'll just be dead. From the get-go, just came out. Hell, oh, God, I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, and then that was... Let me see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Has he even 30. attacked us, or has he not attacked us? He tried to attack Kalista with a, a sling bolt, but it missed far and wide. <laughs> gotcha, okay. Evanara will finish her movement over here, and that's the end of my turn. All right, and Arenya's first turn at the Role Playing Unlimited table. Welcome, welcome. What you got? Yes, also too pretty to be shot. Um, so I wanted to cast a Firebolt, I, and I was going to cast it at that guy, but... Um, I'm going to cast at one of the rats. Rat is a don't know how to do on that. some planets. The <laughs> rats, the rats, the rats are on fire. We don't need no water. Let the mother burn. The rat man forgive you this time. Oh, <laughs> All I see is Charlie Day. <laughs> so on your character sheet um, on the front and center you should have your attacks built there and it's a, as simple as clicking the, uh, the attack here so on your core section if your character sheet is moving around on you that's me scroll down just a little bit right there at the center where it says firebolt click that if that's what you're casting and then that's how we do it Excellent, thank you. Indeed, a 9 is a near miss, unfortunately. 12 is its armor class. Gotta shoot my shot. My firebolt. I sh Doing my invocation. I bring forth fire down from within me. I shoot it, and it misses. Wah, wah, wah. All right. So if there's uh, no movement following that, we will pass it over to Lilith's turn. No, I will not move. All right. So, Kai, that is over to you. What you got? What, I have six hit points? Yeah, no. Get in there. Sorry. What the fuck? What? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the uh, the six hit points is your level one. I think it didn't update that. Gotcha. I was gonna say it can't be level or it can't be six hit points because that's one hit dice. That'd be for right. like no con bonus or anything else. And yeah, only <clears> level one. Did you want to take the uh, the average of four hit points, or did you want to roll the d6 and see if you can get higher? I'll just take the average. Okay. So yeah, your hit points would actually be 10, 
at level two, zero constitution modifier. There we go. Sweet. Much more, but uh, it's a couple dagger shots you could survive. Still squishy, though. Okay, Lilith is going to move forward. I guess through terrain. Is that, am I okay, okay to move that far? Uh, 10, 15, looks like you moved 20 so far. So yeah, you're still, you're good. And then Kalista is technically above you, so you could pass under her if you wanted to move a little further up ahead. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure where to, so, um, here is good. I'll just stand on top of this dead body. Looks fun. Um, I'm going to try summoning my little wildfire spirit again. Alright. I'm going to bring him right about here. Does that highlight for you guys? Yep, it sure like did. It. it uses the Wildfire Spirit stat block. Let me grab one of those. so you can just drag this out to the tabletop for future usage. Woohoo! There's that. Hit points is, what, 5 plus... Same, plus 5 times. Um, yeah, it doesn't give me all that info there, so I'm assuming you have that and can just... Adjust accordingly. I think it uh, shares your initiative count, takes its turn immediately after yours. So that is your action to summon it. And then anything else? It would go right and, uh, after you. It says 15 hit points and 5e, I think. Okay. And in the journal, under your character sheet, I put the character sheet for the Wildfire Spirit, so you can access that and roll off of that. Its attacks and everything are built in, just like on your character sheet. Okay. It would technically get a turn right now if you wanted it to attack the rat before uh, Fenelor has her turn. Uh, yeah, as my um, extra action, I would command it to attack the rat. Sounds good. And doesn't everything within 10 feet when I summon it have to be like a dexterity or 2 6 fire damage? Oh, I didn't even see that part. Yes, yeah, yeah. like it's summoned within a flash of fire. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not familiar with this uh, subclass. Deck save for the rat is a, a natural 20. Okay. Better on the defensive than the offensive side, I guess. It's one agile rat. Rat's like, this isn't the first fire spirit I've ever dealt right? with. Right, all of a sudden it's over here. <laughs> <laughs> and then it comes right back here for the... Uh, melee attack. <laughs> Does that mean I get an attack of opportunity? Oh no, it was a reaction to reaction. It was like force movement. <laughs> okay, it's going to attack with its um, 
Oh god, it's got like a fireball or something that it uses. Oh, does it use a ranged attack? Hang on, I'm looking in the whole archive thingy image. Oh, it is a range, yeah. Yeah, in that case, maybe you wanted to summon it right there so it won't have disadvantage on its attack, but it could still have affected with the uh, kaboom. Oh. I was worried more about Brill, but okay, yeah. Oh yeah, Brill would just be on the outside of it. The, fame, the flame would, like, touch right there. Just almost close enough to get him, but not quite. And warm his fingers. A little cold down here. Might welcome it. I'd prefer my nipples uncauterized, please. <laughs> but yeah, they're on its character sheet. There we go. 18 will hit, and it does 3 fire plus uh, your proficiency bonus, which I think would be 2. So... Yeah, that rat is in very bad shape after that particular exchange. And then that would pass us to Fenelor's turn. First turn at the role plane on the mitted table. Welcome. Thanks. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is move. And I think that might be the only thing I can do. I don't think I have any range attacks. Okay. You can double move. Oh yeah. Move you and then take your action back. to dash. And then keep in mind it's double Look movement it. to go through your allies there so it's getting a little congested. I do see you have Produce Flame, which is a ranged attack, if you wanted to try that. Don't use my attack roll, though. <laughs> One action appears in your hand. Oh, so yeah, it's Produce Flame is one action, and then uh, cast it within 30 feet if you wanted to otherwise move up moving on up to the top <laughs> got eyes on Evanara around the corner there that's what 10 20 um... 30, 40 45 still move a little further if you so wish I think I'm going to produce a flame. All right. And are you uh, casting it right? Oh, man. Damn. It was destined to be a natural one. Yikes. <laughs> no soup for you. And I was casting it at the the rat that is already damaged. Gotcha. Yeah, it looks like it'll just uh, impact on the surface of the uh, the sewer wall a few feet below it. Unfortunately. Do it. Word. Got it. <laughs> and the rat looks over at you and just goes. All right. It's well, like the... a human voice. <laughs> a little bit. Sounds like Arlie Army. Uh, the diseased giant rats are up next, and that. Uh... I'm going to turn these pe these rats into roasted Arcanian tenderloin. <laughs> yeah, maybe keep the uh, diseased one out of the uh, the cauldron there, but uh, otherwise maybe a, a delicacy. 
Let's see. Diseased has that for its move. Okay. Needs must when the DM rolls. Alright, so the rat, giant rat will move up. It is diseased. We can tell by the poison icon there. And that will end its turn. The regular giant rats are up next. Got one of them that is just going to go right after this, uh, the wildfire spirit there. Regular giant Right, the regular giant. Oh god! A 22 to strike for three piercing. No fire doggo, no. Oh no! I love him so much! Help! That rat is hot on the dog's trail. <laughs> right. And the next rat is. 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm going to just come around the corner here and get up in Evanara's face. And it's going to take a bite out of her or try to. 13 probably ain't going to do anything. Nope. No, no. Otherwise, I have some other giant rats elsewhere out of sight. And they're just going to... A little bit of that, a little bit of that. Let's see, rat. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. A little bit of Pamela eating chicken wings. Okay. That's it for the rats. Now for the warlocks. Hmm. Alright, I call BS the first time I get to play a warlock and it doesn't have Eldritch Blast ad nauseum. Like, no like Eldritch Blast! Something is wrong here. This was obviously is created he? by somebody that doesn't want the DM to have fun. <laughs> is it a Hexblade warlock? Uh, it is not. It's got some different stuff. Sure. Well, this is a little obvious, but, uh, hello. Ray, I'll be able to still see him. Yeah. Technically, everybody will, but, uh, the invisible icon that I'm putting on him will make it so that only you're able to target. Uh, I got another one of these guys. 15, 20, 25, 30, 50, 60, okay. So that's it for them. That's back to the top of the round for Kalista. Alright. Uh, going to use a clockwork bolt and uh, attack Thank you for the follow, Nako. Appreciate that. Are you with us? Nako. But okay. I appreciate the effort. <laughs> but it's Nako. <laughs> Nako! Alright. Does the uh, 13 hit an X spark? Um. 13 is my AC. All right. So, light crossbow and damage come. Oh, nice. Jeez. I think he's blue. We already discussed this. I only have seven hit points. Like, come on. Let's let's take it easy here, guys. This is wow. cool. Ugh! All right. And uh, it's going to. You are back. Not the big surprise. 15, 20. And just uh, hang out there. 
for now. Oh, actually, right. yes. Yeah. And because and because it is the Star Wars universe, in his dying death throes, he falls off the ledge into the sewer with a. It's not that human. Far. Yeah, but he's already dead. And it would have been his turn next, as his spirit departs and just shakes his head at the uh, the remains he's leaving behind. We tried, dude. We tried. Uh, this one here, did however. You? Did you? Uh, he, he did. I think... I'm glad I'm not the only one that said something. <laughs> I was going to say, he's the one who thought that he hit Callista in the forehead and ran away laughing. <laughs> yeah, did he you? did. Did you exactly. really try? Yeah, he got like a 21 on his attack roll. Like, Calista was like, I have shield. Please. <laughs> All right, so this is going to get a little ridiculous, I think, unless... Oh, good, yes, he's just going to load another sling bolt here and try... Let's get ridiculous! We're going to try our luck with Kalista again here, whose uh, shield spell is expired. Uh, 15 ain't going to hit, though. And that being the case... Um... We're going to run back to where we came from. <laughs> yes. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and you, off camera, do that. You do this. You're what I suck, because I suck it. You do the same. Get to about there. And that will be a day for their turn. What happened to the initiative? There it is. Alright, Yutsuki, your turn. Okay, I'm moving up to open up more of the field for me and um I see a bunch of rats okay is this rat up here engaged in, in that, that rat would be in melee range right with Evanara oh yeah and their wedding is next week okay and this guy's almost dead, so I'm not even going to bother with him. I'm going to take a shot at this guy up here. Okay. There it is. I think the rat just left the chat. Well, someone left the chat. <laughs> and, okay, so I get to add my snake attack bonus with that. Sounds about right. Take him out. Gotta keep him separated. Oh boy. Another one bites the dust. And that should, um, um, negate any memory of the last shot that I had. And that frees Evanara up. Yeah, that, that'll Holy be rat. my turn. Take right. a shot and kill a rat. Hmm. Good enough for now. Uh, it's Brill who we lost. Looks like his internet died. He'll be back at, uh, eventually once it's fixed up, hopefully. Uh, Marcus, that's over to you there, buddy. Okay, I'm just going to run, run screaming, charging forward, <laughs> and just dash a bunch of times. Moving, moving, moving. This guy comes falling down off of the uh, the top there right as you're approaching that area. 
Looks like all's clear up here to the north. You gotta keep rolling, rolling, rolling. All right. Keep on rolling, baby. You know what time it is. I always loved that in that video. The guy is like, hey, Red Cap. And the first thing I thought of was Changeling. <laughs> All mm. right, is Love uh that. is Brill back with us or is he still a uh, AFK? I believe I saw him come back into chat. I do see him listed. Yeah, yeah he's in chat. I'm just gonna make a leap onto the ledge, and that's my turn. Okay, doke. Maybe he's here. Maybe he's not. Maybe it's Maybelline. What? Sorry about that. I admire your honesty. Well, okay. What you uh, what you thinking with your turn then? Okay, it's my turn. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. I, I do again. I do apologize for that. <sighs> Let's see. Good. Firing at this one rat again. Okay, joke. Yeah. Well, it's not the most damage, but he only had two hit points left, so it's enough. <sighs> so enough. It's enough. I am going to move up, I guess. Sounds good. And here I am. All right. That's over to Evanara's turn, just to the north of you. All right. Evanara is going to fly down here. She sees the rat. She sees this guy here. She does see Marcus is about to engage the rat. So instead, it's 5, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. We'll fly down to here, and she's going to attack this dude. Just remember, we agreed six hit points or I said six hit points or less. Sorry. <laughs> Good gracious, bodacious Ignatius. And that was a total of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 feet. Oh, I thought you were counting damage. I was like, no, I see 21 damage. Are you getting 45, no. 50, 55? <laughs> so she's gone 55 feet. <laughs> so that would be 60. All right. Don't let me move any further. Is there a grate there? Uh, there is. Uh, it does not extend all the way up to the ceiling, though, so you could fly over that. All right. I'll just have to move to your token. Over. Yeah, or I guess you can do it yourself. 65. 70. Well, looky what we have here. A whole bunch more of these guys coming. How much movement do you have? 90 foot fly speed. Good and God. then she's also going to be moving up in the air uh, to the 15 feet up. So okay. Put that on my character here. All right. And with that, we will pass it back over to Arena's turn. Well, before I end and everything else, I'm going to actually put on Shield of Faith as a spell. Okay. That gives her a... Uh, I don't know why my spell slots are expended. I didn't use any of them yet. So that would give her a uh, AC of 20 at the moment. Alrighty.
But it's Evanara, right? Yes, it is. So yeah, let's pass it back over to uh, Irenia's turn here. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to have to move up unless I can use my fire firebolt. My what, what was it? Fire. Some kind of fire damage that I cast earlier. Produce flame? Was it produce flame? No, that's not what I... Uh, Sorry, firebolt. Fire. Yeah, it was a firebolt. Just plain old firebolt crossover i guess uh yes so i think well the range is 120 feet i don't think i can reach that other rat from here so maybe but i should move up anyway it's also how far can your character see looks like you can see up there because some people have light sources with them and they are making it so that you can see it is within range so if you want to shoot it from here you certainly I think have I the range. Move up. Yeah. At this point, I think I should move. Up. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I'll Hail Mary, say... pass. All the wide receivers are in the end zone. <laughs> Correct. Yes, I understood that. Actually, I do because I was a school mascot. I had to know nice. those things. Um, okay, so yes, I'm gonna move forward. Cast fire bolt. Unless there's, is there any other? It's just that rat, right? That we Not, see, yeah. There are others see, yeah. around the corner that Mike can gotcha. see, but otherwise this is all we have out here. Okay, then I won't do my extra little thing that I was going to do. Uh, I was going to do... Uh, it was like a... Where on earth did my character sheet go? I keep pulling it up and then it keeps closing and I don't know why. Uh, there's like a special thing I can do after my spell casting. I think it goes with wild... Oh, okay. Uh, uh, wow, magic. Oh. Uh, let's see. Um, it's not tides of chaos, but it just wild magic surge. Yeah. So I can only do that. Oh, I can do it once per per turn. Okay, then I will first cast my firebolt. Let me do that real quick. Okay. That will hit its armor class, and uh, it will wow, hot. survive so that. Hot. So hot. So hot. So hot. And then you said and then something I about will wild do magic. My... Yes, I will do my wild magic, to... because it's fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, so how do I initiate that? Um, just... you should, there should be a little talk bu bubble next to the ability there on your sheet. Just click that gotcha. and it'll post it up in our chat here. On it. Sweet. Thank you. Oh, yeah. There it is. Once per turn, the DM can have you roll after you cast. If you roll a one, roll on the wild magic surge table. So, yeah, roll a d20. You got it. Bum, 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 bum. Not quite. The spell goes as planned. Excellent. So for my spell conjuration, again, I breathe the fire in and I push it out and I breathe the fire in and I push it out and for the last one I breathe it in and then shoot the fire from my hand uh, doing my enchantment um, incendio come frigo and it finally <laughs> lands and I get a little giddy. I'm like, that's really good. Because again, I haven't really been outdoors very much so i'm like yes the books were right it does look cool <laughs> love it uh just clarification on your positioning here did you jump down into the trench oh if i did i did not mean to gotcha yeah if you want to be on the uh, other side of the ledge you can hop across or if you wanted to stay on this side of the ledge whichever either will uh keep you out of the uh the sewer trench here Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I'm going to stay on this side where I was with okay. Grill. And who is that? I can't see what the name is. Uh, Yutsuki. Yutsuki, yes. I'll stay yeah. with Yutsuki and Grill. Thank you. All right. Yes, indeed. We'll pass it back to Lilith across the passage there. I was. She was just debating what she was going to do. <laughs> 
Don't let it come around your way. Don't wanna go too far though. I don't want to go so far that I use a bonus action. Is that that far enough? Oh, I lost you. Oh, there you are. Uh, let's see. Twenty. Just a single movement. Yeah, that would be good for you to get there. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna command my fire spirit to move. Um, forward 30 feet. Do I move him now, or... Well, I guess I do. It's next turn. Or what? I believe it takes its turn. Let me just check this again. It uh -huh. takes its turn after she finishes her turn. Okay, the only action it'll take on its turn is dodge, unless you take the bonus action to command it to take another action. It can be in its stat block or some other action. So you're you're taking you're using your action to make it move. So yeah, it can move right uh, after your initiative is over. You still have your action. If you, I mean, you don't really have anything to attack here. You could spend that on a dash to take a second movement, and then still have your bonus action to command. Uh, little guy down there to take his movement that is exactly what i would like to do does that All bring right. me out here and 20 30 exactly and then yep go ahead and move uh the spirit animal there excellent i would say because it's a uh, incorporeal or at least that's how i'm reading it it will not it's count covered. for a uh, difficult uh, passage both on its side and on other characters' turns. All right, so Fenelor, back over to your turn then. Did you say you were in a ladder too? Yes, I am. Amazing. Oh yeah, both our two new arrivals back over here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is move. Sounds good. What is your character's uh, strength score? Low. Hold on. <laughs> you mean we AF. You didn't pump yourself up like Arnold the Brown Striker? Um, my strength score is 10. Okay, well, um, good news, everyone. Uh, after getting a running start, you are able to jump your strength score in feet and that's exactly 10 feet it does cause a, a bit of a collision with Lilith on the other side uh, as it is just effectively difficult terrain after that so it's 5, 10 20 feet for you to get there and then uh, otherwise, oh excuse me, sorry and then good to go okay perfect thank if you your for strength score, that. if your strength score had been just a little bit lower you'd have been on the verge of possibly falling down there <laughs> Just a skosh. Yeah, it's a close call there. Lilith did not want to take that risk. I'm going to go the other way around. <laughs> um, and I can... Mm, hold on. Mm -hmm. No problem. Damn, Westy. 89,000 Beskars. Woo! Can I try to produce a flame again? Was that a uh, cantrip or first level spell? I mean, I guess the question is just as long as you have the uh, the slot to do it, you are good to go. I believe it's a cantrip. Sweet. 
Yeah, those are unlimited power. That will hit. And damage the diseased rat say. even further. Yes, okay. I was going to say, I don't know if it made it clear that I was attacking the rat that is closest to me. Oh, sure. Yeah, if there were other monsters, there might have been in question, but I didn't think you were going to turn on the party this early. <laughs> yeah, I don't like you guys. Let's do this. <laughs> not yet. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> we have to form the alliance first. One on seven will never work. Stay on target. <laughs> Stay on target. I can't see it. All right, so that's your move. That's your action. Is that uh, the conclusion of your turn? Yes. All right, so the rats are up next, and inexplicably, the diseased giant rat is still alive. And it's going to step up on Marcus here and take a bite. A 15. Does that actually hit? Check your character Biting sheet here. My pony. Dexterity. Was it a triumph? No. Your character's got armor on, right there, Dan? Yeah, I, I should have chainmail. Okay, one second. I see something else that might be problematic here. Okay, well that is what that is. Uh, my armor class should be 18. It does look like you are one level higher than you should be. I don't know that, I don't see that that affects your armor class, but that is one oh. thing that I noticed. Sorry. Let's just fix your oh, armor sorry. class. Sorry, I, uh, I was looking at the, uh, the, the I was looking at the thing and I I, I, I clicked it twice. I thought I thought you we were a level higher than we were. No problem. In our uh, Discord channel, if you go to the coalescence table info, that should be our most recent information there. Uh, each of the tables and the minimum level that they're at. Because keep in mind, depending on your best car acquisition on Twitch and what happens, you can spend your channel points to level up your characters and what have you and some players do that so the uh, notations there are indic indicative of the minimum level but most everybody on this table should be level 2 still uh, I'm not seeing why your armor class doesn't want to work though. is he somehow wearing a shield it does say that he has a shield so that is a uh, a bit of an oddity because I mean, the animal oh, doesn't even have um, thumbs, Fokker. <laughs> I, I shouldn't be wearing a shield. Yeah, sorry. I was looking at my, uh, <laughs> my different like character sheet. I, I based this character sheet on, so yeah. I, uh, I, I, I shouldn't have a shield, so it would be 16. No problem. Okay, one second here. Why doesn't it want your chainmail to count, though? I mean, that's perfectly legal. I will make it legal. I'm going to steal your chainmail and give you a new set. Maybe that'll uh, fix the issue. Animated chainmail. Oh, that's even better. Chainmail. There we go. Okay, so 16. There we go. Your armor class is 16. That reads correctly, and that means that that attack is a miss. Um, so the giant rats are up next. Diseased rat had nothing to contribute and looks like I've only got one rat here and as Evanara is well out of anything it can do we're just gonna skirt on down around the corner here and unfortunately that's really all we can do can't get anybody yeah, the table so just flies away with you. <laughs> that's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> Whoa, he's being ascended to the heavens. No, that's just his armor, dude. It's got a funny sense of humor. 
Okay, so I only had one rat. I have warlocks, though. I got two of them, and Evanara is in prime position for them. So they may uh, try their luck with her. She can see the one right here, but nobody else uh, can unless you have means of seeing invisibility. It's about to attack anyway, so it's probably just going to lose that as quickly as it got it. Uh, but we're going to try... Mm -mm -mm -mm. No Eldritch Blast. Yeah, right. Yeah, this is uh, this is disappointing. Instead, it uses catapult. <laughs> Good chunk. Um. Well, I mean, you play with the uh, the tools that you're given. So, in that case. <laughs> Piece of tools. <laughs> gimme, gimme, gimme. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Uh, twelve. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, 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 uh. Come on. There you are. Uh, the invisible guy is going to take a shot on you with a... Why is all of that there? I don't know, but he missed. Yeah, let's uh, remove all of that. Boop, boop. Yeah, nice to see he's got a plus one crossbow, though. We can oh, add yeah. that to our treasure list. Oh, yeah. Uh, second attack. Also Even worse. All right, so the next guy up here, 10, 15, 20, 25, 5, 10, 15. All right, well, that, you are right at the edge of the cusp, uh, which is basically just the way of saying the same thing twice, which you'll find I have a, uh, a very, very good way of doing. Uh, let's try burning hands. Yeah. So that would be a deck saving throw? Correctamundo. Right there. That's very there. hot. Oh, yeah. You'll I make see. that. Uh, half damage will be... Yikes. Seven fire. Ouch. And it's at this moment you forgot that you took a nap in that puddle of gasoline earlier. And uh, <laughs> instant ignition. So now she's a fiery angel. Awesome. Yes! <laughs> so that will be both of my warlocks, and that'll pass Fitting. it over to Callista. <laughs> All right, she's going to fly over here. 5, 10, 15, 20. And attack this one right in front of Marcus. All right. With a crossbow. Crossbow strike for 12. Oh yeah, that'll definitely hit. And it couldn't survive forever. It only had 8 hit points and y'all were kind Ooh. enough to let it live. Oh, through I've two attacks. Do a concentration check. <laughs> oh. Concentration check is good. Yeah, you're good. Um, you're looking out. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, brother. So the x bots will take their turns. And I don't know why they became German, but uh, something. Let's try this. We ask the questions here. <laughs> no, don't do that. Okay, we're going to take a pair of attacks here with uh, the leader. The leader is the dude with the orange dot. Uh, his name is Mo. Mo is their leader. I'm going to step here, drop that five feet down off of the ledge right there. Get within 10, 20... 
Now we're within 30 feet. 10, 20, 15, and then plus your 15. Yep, yep, yep. Um, oh, if only I had advantage. Oh, didn't need advantage. Six bludgeoning from the plus one sling. And, and I have to make another con save. Yeah. Good, Still good. good. And then the rest of these uh, X varts over here. We've got one. Sorry, was that too late to react? Um, in what respect? Uh, silvery barbs. Do you have to see the uh, attack being made? Uh, yes, I do. Gotcha. Can you see this guy? Uh, oh, oh, sorry. I you you were way over there. No, no. Right. Uh, right. You, you were <laughs> actually around the corner. I thought it was like uh, closer. Sorry. Right. No worries. Carry on. No worries. All righty. And as that spell comes up, that is a. Uh, Somewhat obscure role-playing unlimited house rule. I know a lot of DMs are just anti-silvery barbs. It's frustrating, but it's completely in keeping with a 5e, so I'm cool with it. The uh, only caveat is uh, one party member at a time in the party may have access to it. I don't want it to become reaction fest 2024 with everybody uh, countering everything that's rolled, you know. Aww. That's not to say you can't have it, but maybe after each long rest, it'd be like, okay, today's my my day that I use it, kind of deal. Yeah, if you want it, uh, feel free to have it. All right, so these guys here, that, that, that. Oh, that was a little awkward. He actually moved here and then over to here for 30 and then they're gonna all focus fire on Evanar with the slings how dare you invade our lair a 21 a 13 and a 23 she's still standing all right barely oh damn some of those got through huh well, yeah, the 21-23 would have. Oh, shit. Uh, so I have to make two con saves now. Gotcha. <laughs> save. Bam, and, and oh, save. very good. Uh, there's one more guy around the corner here. 25, 10, 20. Well, you're out of range, so this attack will be a disadvantage, but it's going to try its luck on you as well. A natural one! It drops its sling in the sewer. Ow! And then it jumps down there to go retrieve it. <laughs> uh, that's it for their turn. So we'll pass it back over here where it's over to Yutsuki. If you're talking, we're not hearing you, brother. So, sorry. All right, so uh, I took my regular movement and my cunning action okay. to dash to that point. And from here, I can't see anything except for that rat. Looks uh, right like here. it, yeah. Yeah, you can definitely so, hear. Um, and you can see just enough of Evanara up here to see that she yeah. is getting pelted with attacks. But you can't see who's attacking her. All right, so I'm going to take a shot at that rat with the crossbow, or the uh, short bow. All right. Another success. Oh, there we go. That's a hit, and just about uh, 
bloodies that rat there. No sneak attack, correct. Yeah, and that'll be, I think, all I can do here. All right, over to uh, Mr. Zebra. Go right ahead. <laughs> um, I'm going to jump back down. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going and after then, the one dead ahead of you. <laughs> and, then, and then just go... You do see that there is a grate right here that's going to block your movement going through the sewer. So if you want to continue east, either here or if you've got like a magnificent leap that'll get you 15 feet high over the grate, you could jump over it. Yeah, I, I, I can I can leap uh, 15 feet high. So okay. Sounds good. Just hauling ass to there, and then... Woo! Uh, can I hop back onto the... Oh, like, onto the... Onto the... I still have... I, I think I still have 20 feet of movement left. Okay. You want so, to climb back up on the ledge there? Yeah, you're good. Yeah. And then just move right here. Okay. Oh, yeah. You definitely have eyes on what's going on here. Let's get the invisibility off of this guy because he spoiled that. But, yeah, you've got eyes on a lot more of these things here, and they are all looking at you now and... Uh, Licking their lips, and uh, looks like they are considering some unicorn burger later on. Mm -hmm. this is Whoa! Tasty burger. There are some. <laughs> this is just a lot of these guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there's seven of them. Seven. What you know about seven? All right, that's your uh, your move and your dash, and uh, unless yeah, you got your okay. bonus action, we will pass it to Brill back around the corner. All right. Um, just out of curiosity, uh, as, as this was mentioned multiple times, this is a big gap in the middle, right? There's no grate to walk on top of or anything? Correct. Yeah, if your All character right. has a strength of 10 or higher, and you've got at least a 10-foot running start, then you could just, like, kind of run and, like, hop across, diagonally across the chasm or something like that. I am going to do that. That's just, uh... <clears throat> Allow me, I have to do this right. Brill is going to be running... movement there uh, but this is why all right oh, I love the way that dynamic lighting is spilling through the uh, the, the grate there or the, the bars <laughs> bonus action to give advantage nice Wow, and no opportunity attacks. And extra damage if it hits. That is insane. Woo! And whether you hit or miss, it's extra movement. Wow, that's like four spells in one. Um, yeah, we're we're gonna go join the the land of the dead. See ya. You just see my guy running with with fucking great alacrity and then just to top it off a feat of acrobatics he jumps over on the other side all right oh yeah if you're anything like our other guardian on uh sunday g24 
They pack a big punch, but they get worn out very quick. He is uh, the first one to call for a long rest after uh, most combats. <laughs> All right, let's pass it uh, over to Evanara then, once you are uh, ready to go there. Hold on, I still have 15 feet of movement. Yes. It is an elevated platform there above you, but it's only five feet high. It doesn't really interrupt your movement, just a uh, heads up on that. And you do have a guy right there to your northwest who, if you exit that square you're in, he will get an attack of opportunity on you. No, he won't. Phase strike. Oh, that's right. That's right. Alrighty. I need a bit of help here, friend. Friend? <laughs> Are you saying that to Evanara? Well, her and Marcus. She's raining blood oh. down into the oh. sewer, so probably okay. her. <laughs> so the first thing she's going to do is she's going to cast Healing Word on herself. All right. And then as an action, she is going to, or sorry, as a move, she's going to fly over here. As an action, she's going to attack this one with her uh, sword. Okay. For 13 damage. Strike a hit, and I survive! Alright. And um, he attacked with a burning hands, right? Does he have a weapon in hand? He did. He uh, has a scimitar at his side. It is not currently equipped in hand. Okay, so he has no weapon in hand at the moment. Correct. He might be able to, like, try and kick you or smack you barehanded, but he has no yeah. weapon. Okay. She will go down to here and All end right. her turn. Yeah, he's not even going to bother with that. Save the reaction for something else, just in case. Oh, look at that. You found a little, uh... Uh, looks a little bit like the uh, the spiral staircase there from j Man's game on Tuesday night. <laughs> Unfortunately, we cannot see it here on the live stream. It is protected behind the uh, the chat bar, but I'm trying to show it. <laughs> All righty. Uh, end of turn. We will pass it over to Arania. All the way back here. Oh, hello. I am there we go. far away, yes. All right. I'm going to move forward. I can go a little bit further. Let me look. Up. It looks like it's similar to other effects that it does last a minute, but as soon as it has its impact, it's done. Okay, so if I moved here, would I would I be in line of sight to hit this guy over here? This this um, what is he? A warlock, sorcerer? What is he? Uh, the dude right across the way. Yes. He does have a little cover because this is a platform that's five feet higher. The uh, Warlock, though, is actually just around the corner here outside your line of sight. This is one of the uh, the regular warriors with the uh, sling. Gotcha. So I'd have to jump across to get further line of sight. Correct. If you step there, you can just see that there's somebody right here. You could attack him, but he has cover. Oh, okay, so the guy directly in front of me, I can't hit him? Uh, you can definitely hit him as well. He just ha he has less cover, of course. Oh, so, okay, so you're saying he's five feet above me across. 
Uh, not necessarily. It's that this space right here is part of a platform that's five feet higher, and he's on the other side of it. So you're kind of like looking at his shoulders and his head. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, whereas this um, one is behind a solid wall, and if anything, as he's kind of shifting around, you might see part of him come out behind cover before he shifts back. Okay, so I wouldn't be, like, at a disadvantage if I try and hit the guy directly in front of me. Oh, definitely not. He just has a plus two to his armor class. Gotcha. Okay, so I'm going to firebolt again <laughs> and try and hit him. All right. Let me pull that up. And then I will do, I'll do my, um, my surge again, whatever it's called, the, the wild magic surge after that. All right. So again, I breathe the fire in and it's getting a little easier now that I'm getting used to it. So instead of doing three big breaths, I do two breaths and then I whisper my little incantation incendio come free go and i'm a little more firm with it this time instead of being super trepidous about it awesome and... oh definitely a hit but for minimum damage the most minimum <laughs> and then I will also do the uh, uh, wild, oh my gosh, the wild magic surge. Ah, uh, yes. Let's go! D20. Oh. Oh, that is uh, correct. This, okay. Oh, that's fine. I, um, I have one other thing that I can do. Let me look real fast. I think I can use Tides of Chaos. Um, oh, I, I needed to do that before to gain advantage on my attack roll, but I didn't need it. So that's fine. Uh, uh, yeah, and I think that will be it for me. Uh, Alrighty. I kind of relish in the fact that I at least hit him. <laughs> we will pass it to Lilith then, right over here. Oh, um, sorry. Could I move? Um, could I use a little bit of movement to move kind of out from his direct line of sight, or am I already engaged with him? Um, depends on how much movement you have uh, left. What is your uh, your base movement? Let me check on that. I think you moved 30. 30. Yeah, I think you yeah, moved I think 30 I to did. get there. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, let's go. Excuses, excuses, excuses. Okay, okay. Coming up, guys. Coming up, guys. Oh. All right. Scooting on by, and you are right next to this platform that is five feet higher on the north side of you. You can see that there is this warlock guy right here next to you, threatening that space that you've stepped into, and this guy is uh, wiping off that little scorch of a uh, firebolt that he just took and eyeing nastily over in this direction as you step into his line of sight. Hey! Uh, I think that distance used both my actions, doesn't it? Uh, I think that was just your regular movement. Yeah, you're good. I'm 
Just produced by him. One second. Okay. And I'll aim it at uh, this person who is one closest to me. Okay. If you don't have the crossbow expert or other equivalent feat, a uh, ranged attack against a melee opponent would be a disadvantage. Technically, you'd be a disadvantage regardless because he's there threatening your attack, whether you attack him or try to attack this guy. But uh, just be advised. What exactly does that mean? Uh, that means that when you make your attack roll, how it has the two numbers pop up, we will use the lesser of the two. If you have advantage, we use the greater of the two. If you have neither, we just use the first number. Gotcha. That's, that's why we always have both of them on, just in case. After it's rolled, it's like, oh, crap, wait, I had advantage, or oh, damn, wait, you had disadvantage kind of thing. It's just everything's already there. Okay. So yeah, go ahead and make your attack. Uh, AC is pretty low, but uh, with disadvantage, anything's possible. The dice, technically, anything are possible. I'll never forget uh, this happened to Ben two different times where he had advantage and rolled snake eyes. On the uh, front side of your character sheet, you should have the uh, Produce Flame attack block, and then that'll just roll all of it at once. On the core section, I should say. Open, then just click the other side of that attack. You click the David side first. Whoops. <laughs> there it is. Oh no, and that's exactly where the disadvantage affects us. His armor class is a 12. So if you didn't have the disadvantage, your attack roll of 12 would have hit because it's an 11. It's a near miss. I'm sorry. Don't. Okay. I'm he just gonna... looks over at you and. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, have Fen Fenelor take her turn after this, then. Do I still get to command my fire spirit? Um, your bonus action. Yes, yes, you do. Okay, I'm going to bring him up into the, the game over here. All right. What is uh, the spirit's strength score? Out of curiosity, it may have to take a bit of a detour. Like armor class? What do you mean? Uh, it's strength. Oh, nope. Yeah, it has a strength score of 10. So ten. it has just enough to also make the leap across. So yeah, you're good to bring it right to there. It hovers, I think. But I don't know. That... Uh, let me check. Oh, it does have a fly speed. Yep, didn't even see that. So yeah, it doesn't even have to worry about that. Cool. All right, Fenelor, over to your turn then. Um, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, sorry, it wasn't letting me talk for a second. Don't. Um, also, I am really, really sorry, but I, after my turn, I have to go. It's almost midnight my time, and I have to get up abnormally early for work tomorrow. Oh, um, yeah. it's, I, I won't usually have to leave early. It's just like a, it's just like a tomorrow is weird for me kind of thing. Um, but anyway, my turn. 
Sure. Yeah, no worries on that. Uh, we only play for three hours, so after the guy in the initiative spot after you, we call it a night anyways, because I've got a, uh, a three-hour work shift right after this stream anyway. So uh, no harm, no foul. We usually play uh, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Pacific. Okay, that's actually perfect. Okay, thank Wonderful. you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is move. Alrighty. Um, I actually can't see any enemies, so I don't know if I can do anything. I guess I could use my... I can move an extra 15 feet, right? If I don't attack? If you use your action to dash, you get an additional 30 feet of movement. You can okay, tell... I'm just going to do that because I... Good deal. You can tell mm -hmm. Lilith is engaged in combat with somebody that you can't see right around the corner. And based on the allies that you do see up ahead and the way they're kind of staring in this direction, you would guess there's other foes right around the corner. And then this is that uh, five foot high pass, uh, pathway that we've been talking about for uh, other people's turns, just uh, for FYI. Okay, I think I'm going to try and hop over here. Because that's... 15, 20, I was 30. over here. 5, 10, Perfect. 15, 20, 25. Yes, okay. Perfect, then Then that's my turn. Alright, yeah, you got eyes on everything here now. And that will pass it to the Warlock's turns. I got two of them. One right here that got uh, sliced by the sword. And the other one right here with the magic crossbow. They will both take their turns before we uh, close out here. Uh, let's just randomize this. Lilith is right next to us. So... like Marcus is the lucky target from the first guy and uh, Fenelor who just came around the corner is uh, the lucky target of the second one so first guy the one that uh, got sliced by the blade a few moments ago is 30 foot range huh? 10, 20, you're exactly 30 feet away, how about that so he's going to throw a Raxivore's Bite attack at you. Yikes! 22 to hit for 4 poison damage. And he's got a second one of those. Oh god! And a 21 to hit for an additional 11. Just like that. 3 quarters of your hit points went bye bye. Not counting any resistances or reactions on your behalf that you may have otherwise that's a day for that guy next one right here around the corner grumble grumble Fenelor has a, a little bit of cover here um, oh yeah I do have a high ground bit but uh you got a big zebra right there in front of you, or a big unicorn right in front of you. A big zebra. Brock. Okay, so if it's if your armor class is too higher, Sam, does a twelve hit you? Um, my armor class is twelve. Gotcha. So thankfully, the guy in front of you. Giving you a plus two bonus to your armor class. That's going to be a miss. And one more shot. That's also a miss. So he is O for everything with this light crossbow. He throws it on the ground and stomps on it and crushes it to oblivion to ensure nobody will ever get to use it. Just kidding. Uh, that will close out the round there. If uh, one of you are kind enough to copy our initiative over to the Thursday chat we can have that intact for next session 
quick question for you before we all leave everything. I have 40,000 um, Beskar right now. Mm -hmm. Could I spend 20,000 to level up my Sunday character, even though I won't be here for Sunday? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to do that now, then. Yeah, sounds good. Go ahead and redeem away, and uh, we will send this back to the uh, starting screen here on roll 20 and otherwise fantastic job tonight friends it was great to have a uh, full party here for the thursday session including uh, a few new players as well all of whom whom did amazing job tonight a uh, special shout out there to uh teo with your uh the cosplay and just the the amazing rp that you added to that as well very impressive thank you thank you absolutely thanks everyone i had a lot of fun tonight as well yeah nice. playing as a force wielder was a new thing but <laughs> definitely enjoy phase strike yeah that was awesome that's a pretty amazing ability i was uh, impressed with that absolutely and uh, while we have not uncovered what the real IG really means, we are uh, one step closer when we get to the next Thursday session two weeks from now. I still have it, but after I use it next turn, it's not going to be useful. But still, two attacks, and with advantage, it's still two attacks. Oh, I see, I see. Well, this is uh, the end of another trifecta of games here for us. Uh, every week we do three in a row. It's just a matter of uh, what week we're on because all the games are bi-weekly. This week it was Tuesday for J-Man's campaign. Last night we did the Vengeance game in the Nine Hells. Tonight we continued our third session here with Thursday Crew. Still uh, rocking at level two for the most part, but... Uh, well on their way to that third level where we start getting subclasses and all kinds of cool abilities. Take a couple days off here ahead, friends, and then next time you will see us will be Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Pacific. Sunday morning, Group 3 continues their adventure on the way to the Donjon. They are trapped in the Astral Maze outside of the Donjon. They have a 30-round time limit to make it through there. It's really just a friendly wager, 30 rounds. They've made it 25 rounds so far, so the first hour and a half should be very telling Sunday morning. And then Sunday night, we are back 6 p.m. Pacific with G24 as they continue a change in the weather. Thankfully, our map finally works this time, and we are putting some, uh, some steam behind us. Thank you much, friends, for an amazing session, and a reminder, as always, there is no RU without you. Good night. Good night. Thanks for the game. Thanks Take for care. welcoming me, people. Thank you so much. Good night. Take care. Bye. Good night, guys. Thanks, night, friends. Night. Thank you. Have a good one. Um, I had this already done for earlier. I had a campaign earlier today, so I'm like, oh, oh I can try it in. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I flipped some things around and I did it a little different than I did earlier. So. Nice. <laughs> Very Thank impressive. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Thanks. You as well.